Hey there, this is just a quick video to show you this solar air heater I put together. This one's just going to be made out of uh, one cardboard box, piece of glass, and some black paint. That's basically it. I just took one box from Home Depot. It's a large style box, which is 18 by 18, 24 inches high. Uh, cut it at a slight angle. Left the lip there. Put the glass on it. 16 by 20 piece of glass lays right across there. Hangs over by an inch on either side. And then I'm going to slowly pull the air out on the top with a computer cooling fan run by the solar panel. A lot of neat uses for this. I'm going to go outside and see what kind of temps we can get. Try not to block the solar panel. Wow, 149, 150. Got 150 now. Yeah, that is super, super hot air coming out of there right now. That would be great for like in the winter time, the fall, the spring even. If you ever need to warm something up real quick, including your hands, just hold them over this, be all set to go. So what I did was, it's 18 inches wide. I measured exactly halfway across. So that's nine inches here, nine there. I drew a line exactly 16 inches down. Then I measured a line that runs straight across from the bottom of the box to the end of the slanted part right there. This distance right here is about 11 inches. This line that I drew across is 11 and a half inches. That'll provide a little lip for the glass to lay on so it won't slide off the front. You'll see how this all comes together in a minute. So there it is. We just uh, cut along the dotted line, or the solid line in this case. Okay, and there's the cut that's made. So I cut along that pencil line, as you can see, and around the front and over. Okay, now I cut that section out and just left half a flap on each side like that. You'll fold those over and lay the glass on top, and that's all you have to do other than paint that black. Stick the fan on the top. Okay, and there it is. All painted black on the inside. Glued the top. Laid the glass on top. And the only thing left now, cut the hole on the top. The air outlet. I'm going to go ahead and put a small DC computer fan in there and run it on a small solar panel. Obviously, again, you can use it outside if you need to warm up your hands, work it in the cold. You can also use it for tools that tend to lock up in the cold, you know. If you're trying to use vice grips, the snow and the ice gets in there. Just kind of hold it over that, warm them up. Staple guns too, or you can just throw them in the bottom, keep them warm the whole time. You can use it as a solar snow melter. A pan like this, painted black, put some snow in there, put it in the bottom. 15 minutes, maybe a half an hour later, you'll have a bunch of water you can drink. Um, if your work gloves get wet or snow covered, ice covered, you need to kind of warm them up and dry them off, either over that or just throw them on the bottom. You can use this as a solar food dehydrator if you want to. Just make these wooden frames with a screen over them. Slice your food thin. Put this in there. You can even stack them. The fan will take the humidity out and dry the food. Another use for the black pan in there would be to purify water. You only need 150, just 150 degrees. It's kind of a multi-use solar heater.